Hey there guys, how's it going? Sorry, I was just checking whether it was recording. <laughs> About a while ago, I made a video called Pubehead's Demise, where I kill um, this guy, Isaiah Friedlander, who is your uh, psy psychologist or whatever. He's just basically giving you therapy. And this is his revenge. <laughs> Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict? So what's happening in this session is that uh, he's basically revealing that he's not going to be Michael's doctor anymore, or so psychologist or whatever. And uh, starts revealing that he's going to basically tell tell all on TV, which Michael can't have because Michael's basically in hiding. If you play the game, he's basically under a fake name, and everything he's been telling him has just been has been quite revealing. I'm actually not sure why he discloses so much of information to him, but he does, irregardless. And uh, what you're seeing is the culmination of all these months and months or I'm, I'm assuming years of him going to him and just being berated by him over stuff that he really doesn't understand so yeah the wife and kids are back under the roof so maybe things are okay mm-hmm well family is important Michael but make sure you want them there for the right reasons any other acting out friend tell me <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit and I hurt people and then I feel bad about it. I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. It was a fuck up, Doc. I'm still a good guy underneath. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. So I feel like there's progress in some areas and you know none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. The fuck are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And... I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> Think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pubehead. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Don't you want to be famous? Hey, everybody wants to be famous. It's a primal ur urge. So I tried to shoot him, and then I eventually blew him up. But a car comes back and hits me, which I think is called karma. 